What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and this video is going to be 10 things you may not know about Glock pistols. I noticed on the boat you finally went with the Glock. Yeah. <laughs> These things are so cool. Yeah. They shoot underwater. You can pour sand in them and they'll shoot. Shoot every time. Glocks are some of my personal favorite guns ever. I've carried a Glock in one form or another since I started carrying handguns. I've shot them in competition, used them for home defense, and owned dozens of them over the years in multiple calibers from early generations all the way up to the brand new Gen 5. So I'm pretty excited to make this video, so let's get started. Number one, the Glock pistol, sometimes referred to as the Glock Safe Action Pistol, is a series of polymer framed, short recoil operated, lock breech semi-automatic pistols designed and produced by Glock. It entered in Austrian military and police service in 1982 after it was the top performer in an exhaustive series of reliability and safety tests. Number two. In 1980, Gaston Glock was the first to use ferritic nitrocarbonizing with polymers along with injection molding machines to make a much harder polymer than previous. Capable of withstanding harsh conditions that firearms have to go through, Glock may not have been the first polymer handgun, but it was the first to be durable enough for military and law enforcement use. Number three. Glock was a real game changer in the self-defense market. Not since the invention of the J-Frame has there been such a surge in civilians carrying firearms. The Glock was one of the first lightweight semi-auto polymer point-and-shoot pistols available and marketed to civilians. The ease of use, very light overall weight, and impressive reliability help make it as popular today with civilians as with military and police. Number four, contrary to popular movies and video games, the Glock pistol doesn't actually have an external hammer to cock for dramatic effect like in 1911 or some revolvers. Nor does it have an external safety that you can accidentally leave on. Maybe we'll get on one of them video shows, you know, like world's craziest police chases. What do you think? What I think, Leon, is you need to stay focused and make sure you got a round in the chamber and your safety off. It does, however, have internal safeties to help make the pistol safer, like drop safeties to ensure the gun doesn't go off when accidentally dropped, and a trigger safety in the middle of the trigger shoe to help with accidental discharges. Number five, Glocks are not porcelain made guns that will go through metal detectors and cost more than you make in a month. That punk pulled a Glock 7 on me. You know what that is? It's a porcelain gun made in Germany. Doesn't show up on your airport x ray machines here, and it costs more than you make in a month. You'd be surprised what I make in a month. That nice little myth was made popular by Bruce Willis in Die Hard 2, one of the very first movies to use a Glock. So I wouldn't try to take it through a metal detector because the slide, barrel, most of the internals, basically half the gun is made from metal. Number six, Glock may be made with the same material as high quality running shoes. According to Glock, the plastic frame material is secretly called Polymer 2. This is the same material as DuPont's glass reinforced Zytel nylon, a strong and durable polymer that resists wear. Sprinter Michael Johnson wore track shoes made of this Zytel to win gold medals at the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games. Number seven. The Glock 17 was the first functional Glock pistol, then came the full auto Glock 18 and the smaller frame 19. They have been numbered one after one ever since then, all the way up to the new Glock 46. Most people think the G17 was the 17th version of Glock, but that is just not the case. It was actually the 17th patent held by Glock. Other patents include products Glock made before they got into firearms, like training hand grenades, knives, and machine gun belt links. Number 8. Glock 46 will be the newest Glock made as of the time of this video. It will be the first Glock with a rotating barrel instead of a tilting barrel, similar to size as the Glock 19, and it will have many of the Gen 5 features, including a lack of finger grooves and an ambi slide stop. It is being made specifically for the German police. As of the date of this video, it is not known whether it will be released into the American market. Number 9. Although most people associate Glock with the 9mm chambering because it is the most popular, in fact they come in almost every major semi-automatic handgun caliber including 380, 40, 45, 45 gap, 357 sig, and even the big 10mm. You can even get 22 conversion kits to make practicing with your favorite Glock a little bit cheaper and funner. A 22 pistol is also a great way to introduce new shooters to handguns. 
And number 10, Glock is one of the most used, most popular, and well-known pistols on earth. It is so well known, in fact, that I've heard plenty of people just call all handguns Glocks. Used by military and law enforcement in over 60 countries, taking up 65% of the law enforcement market in the United States alone, as of 2013, over 10 million Glocks were sold worldwide, making it one of the most sold handguns in history, only getting beat by the Makarov and the Smith & Wesson Model 10, maybe even the 1911, depending on your sources. This was 10 things you may not know about the Glock pistol. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I leave a link to a local youth shelter and my Patreon account in the description. Please donate to the shelter, they could really use your help. And if you have any left over, please donate to my Patreon. YouTube isn't very gun friendly anymore, so ad revenue isn't what it used to be. Also donating to my Patreon will enter you into a monthly giveaway where you can win lots of cool firearms related content. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later. You have a weapon? Yeah, a big one. How about you? <laughs> you sure you want to get cute with me? You have a backup weapon? Never had the need. Get one. Keep that in your suit unless I tell you to take it out. Get yourself a Glock. Lose that nickel-plated sissy pistol.